in question number 71 they are asking for variation of molar conductance with the concentration of strong electrolyte according to debye huckel theory it varies according to the equation lambda m is equals to lambda m infinite minus some constant into square root of concentration of that strong electrolyte according to experimental data the graph of plot of molar conductance and square root of concentration is found to be straight line according to this so the answer of given question is 1 in question number 72 they are asking for relationship between kp and kc for the given reaction so2 plus half o2 gives so3 gas the relationship between kp and kc is kp is equals to kc into rt to the power delta ng where delta ng stands for summation of stoichiometric coefficient of gaseous product minus summation of stoichiometric coefficient of gaseous reactants so according to this reaction if we calculate delta ng that is stoichiometric coefficient of product that is 1 minus stoichiometric coefficient of reactants that is 1 plus half it gets out to be equal to minus half so the correct answer is 4 in question number 79 there is given some data of variation of concentration and with that variation of rate of reaction reaction is 2a plus b gives out c plus d if we write rate law for the given reaction it will be rate is equals to rate constant into concentration of a to the power some experimental constant m concentration of b raised to the power some experimental constant n that represent order of reaction with respect to a and b according to given data if we put it in this e equation rate will be equal to k into 0.1 to the power m 0.1 to the power n this will be first equation again and rate of reaction on the basis of this concentration is 1.2 into 10 to the power minus 3 in the second data rate of reaction is 1.2 into 10 to the power minus 3 which will be equal to k into concentration of a to the power m concentration of b to the power n this will be second equation and again in the third data rate of reaction is 2.4 into 10 to the power minus 3 is equals to k into concentration of a to the power m concentration of b to the power n if we solve these three equations to find out values of m and n we will get m is equals to 1 and n is equals to 0 so on the basis of values of m and n rate of reaction will be equal to k into a to the power 1 b to the power 0 so the correct answer is second